Hi everyone, this is an update on those mini spot welder. This is the name. It has no names. Okay? There's a different series on them. So this is an update I'm doing for you guys to help you guys in a way that I don't make the same mistake. So you don't make the same you don't make the same mistake that I make. The reason I'm saying that is the machine is it's faulted. There's a lot of things not working good on them. Okay, there's a lot of them. For example, this one I purchased. That was the first one I purchased. It's a little bit heavier because I made some modification. Before I even try it, I made some modification. As you can see, I double the length within the negative to the MOSFET because somebody named Lucas and all other some somebody named Fabius and other YouTubers does the modification. After they do the modification, they don't give you an update after a while. So you don't know what's happening on them. So before I start using it, I did the modification. I double up on this and I double on this. I put some copper and some spot and some and, and, and some 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 stuff to put it together. As you can tell, it works. But I, could, I didn't get the chance to do a video. So they said to me, if I modify this, I can use, hold on just a minute. Now, this is what I did. I use this. I use this. So I use this, connected it. And it did one spot welder, one. This was fully charged. But I see a lot of people do the video. So this says to me, if I upgrade this, this can work. And also, this one can work too. That's what those guys says. Well, they're not, they use, they, but they tell you that, I mean, they're being fair. They said this can work at 25C. So I was very hesitated to do that. So I did a couple spot welder. And then I noticed something here. This one is poof. The other one is fine, but this one has a problem. I don't know if the other one has a problem, but I know this one has a problem. So I decided to do, I wait until I get the new, this battery, which is this, what they require. So it's actually have no problem. So I used to take when this battery come, I plug it in and this MOSFET, poof, I have all the protection, everything needs to be done. Then the thing stopped working. Then one time I, f I tried to do more, I tried to battery and I saw this smoke come out of here. The smoke came out of here. I believe the smoke is started from there because this is right on top of it. Because it's, little, it's lighting up. So I said, well, let me, let me order another one. So this I put on the side. I could have just remove it. I see somebody. They just use one strip. I says maybe, maybe not. So let me wait. Let me get a new one. And starting it the right way. So I put this on the side. So I bought this one. But one thing I noticed on this and this one, because yesterday I was looking at some videos to see how I can repair it. I noticed there's no nothing underneath of this. And the guy was talking about it. And I have my kind is is BH eighteen dash one K. This is a copy. This is not really none of them. This is the copy. So it is what it is. The thing has no name. Anybody can copy it and do it. Okay. So so this one is broken. It's, it still can light up. Light up doesn't mean anything. Can it do spot welder? It really cannot. So what I was trying to do, remove, remove this, 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 uh, this is going to be difficult. I'm going to attempt to remove this, this MOSFET and see if it can work without it, with the modification. So that's one of the money that I spent. That's twenty and twenty seven dollars is when you add it up, it does make a difference. But you, when you buy something, you expect it to work. You don't have to do modification on the thing for the thing to work. 
Now, so what I'm saying to myself before I make a judgment on this, so that's why I order another one. I ordered this. I took it inside because I was looking for something on the back. This is a, the latest modification they did. And there is things on the bottom of it. So there's a gentleman named Lucas. He was, he was explaining all the stuff in there. That's it, beautiful. So we have this. This, what happened to it, as you can know, as, as you notice, what happened to this, the MOSFET is, it's, it burned out. Let me tell you what happened before the MOSFET burned out. I start using it. So I have the proper battery. I choose not to upgrade this because if I buy a, a something, a, a, a product, it's supposed to be working with effortless. So I bought it. I said, let me wait for the battery. I ordered the battery. Never use this thing. Never use it at all. So I ordered this battery. And the battery came. And I did the spot well. I did I did the, the wires and everything looked good. So I plug it in. I got light. So I said, okay, so let me watch some more video. Now watch some more video. Now this is good to go. So here I am. What I decided to do. And I didn't upgrade it because I figured, hey, maybe because I upgrade this, it get messed up. I said, let me do this thing clean. So I had a couple batteries. I had about, about I had a pack of batteries. Had twenty five batteries. I did two two weld on each batteries. It works hundred percent. It works hundred percent. No problem. Then and I have another pack of battery I needed to complete. Let me show you the battery. This is the pack of battery I'm supposed to do. I start doing it. As you notice, the battery, the spot weld, is perfect. This is really, oh, I love this because this is really working. And then when I get to here, I got a spark. I'm assuming the battery, the battery, the battery is lower. It gets started to lower and the voltage becomes dropped to 11. So I take a break and because the spark, I didn't like the spark. I mean, imagine you kept doing those spark. This is so, such a well, this was perfect. Perfect until I get to here. You see the color is different. It's different than this one, than that one there. You see, this is well done. This is 2.2 millimeters. It does it with effortless with 40, I think 40 joules, it works. So when you get to here, first of all, I started at 50 joules and I stopped. I start 50 joules. Oh, this is too much. I didn't like this part. So I lower it. It's working fine. When it get to here, then I figure, I think something heat up. So I stop. I smell something funny. I stop. So I, a couple hours later, I came by and trying to do this. I did this part. This one was perfect like the other one. You see? This one and this one like the other one. And I did another one. And then when I do this one, it's similar to this. Then I see poof. I see smoke. I literally see smoke. This is the part of it. This is the rest of it is not completed. And this part of the world is such well done and I love it. You know? And I say, oh no, man, this is not working. But it's supposed to work. The battery is full charge. I think the battery dropped a little bit, came back. And that's what caused this. I think that's what caused it. The battery dropped. I haven't used this, the battery since then. Let's look at the voltage in the battery. I believe because the, the battery dropped, it caused the machine to break down. It's not something those people in China doesn't understand, doesn't know. They know it. But they want to sell more broken machine. And I think that's what it is. I mean, you design the machine. Okay. Take all the voltage. This is the voltage I have. 11.1. .1. I haven't charged this thing since that time. About a couple of days ago, this thing puff. This thing go poof. 
I think because I was using it, the drop, the voltage dropped a little bit. The machine couldn't recover and the muffler is blown. Okay, this is at 11, it's supposed to say 11.1. That's what this thing says, 11.1. I think while you're using it, the voltage dropped a little bit. Now you have this mess. You have a broken system, broken machine. The MOSFET is burned. Okay, this, the MOSFET is burned. So I'm trying to see if I can do modification on this. There was a gentleman named Lucas. Uh, he was doing, he was pretty good. He's doing all this stuff there. This is the MOSFET I remove. While I'm removing it, this thing fall apart. The MOSFET just fall into pieces. That's what it is. So it's broken. So now I gotta get a new one. This machine, if I put the MOSFET there, it seems to me it's gonna work. My question to you guys is, what would you like to buy something after use it for a couple of less than an hour? It's broken. You have to do modification on it. This is not only one. And I've seen a lot of videos of this and people from China, they bake the thing, with, they make a broken system. You have to find a way to modify it to work. And when it works, it works for a couple of hours and that's it. In other words, the modification you're doing is not serve no purpose. You serve no purpose. Why would you buy something like this? And I like I like the way I hold this. I, I, it's I like the I like the job the thing was doing. You know, when you go like this, you it's mobile. It does a good job. It does a good job when you're doing it. It does a good job. The thing works because I remember I had another video. I was testing it, and I said, oh my God, this thing is working. I probably did 100 welds, 100 welds with it, because I had a battery needed about 50 welds, and I did the 50 welds, I shipped it overseas, because I have, I'm doing those things for my own country. I'm from Haiti, so they don't have an electricity, so I'm, put, I'm putting batteries together and ship to them. You have a school, a free school, you learn English for free. And this is why I'm doing those videos. I'm doing those batteries for the school. And I buy a bunch of batteries. They die. I, I rather I start do, testing this thing here from US. Testing it from US and then ship it. Make sure everything 100% accurate. So when they get to Haiti, I, it takes time to fix then to find out what the problem is. So right now, this machine is supposed to be gone. I got a bunch of batteries down there to be, to be spot welder. But we can't do it because... I can't find a machine which is working. This, this says it will work with three. I believe it can work. If I put the battery in there, you do the couple of spot well, there will work. But it's gonna blow the same way. It's not because of this, the, 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 the MOSFET is not there. It's something that caused the machine to blow. Well, I don't have any solution. I, have, I can't be using it because it's gonna blow again. Because I didn't do nothing wrong for it to blow in the first time. Battery is fine. Got the right battery. Got the right battery. 50C. This thing requires 40C. It says it right here. It says it right here. They require 40 to 70C. 5,000 milliamp. I got that. Okay. They require 1.1. But the strip, the strip is 0.2. I don't think the trick make a difference because I didn't go 100 joules, 99 joules. I've go 40. If I had 1.2, 1.2, I still do 40. So it's not the strip that causes it. It's the thing is not working. So my advice to every one of you guys, until you see somebody who has a model... You got to look for the models. You got to find somebody who has, like this one here, has a different model. The model is, this is the model for this one. Every five minutes, they have a different model on those. This is the model. C, what is it? C28. CA, it's CA28-2K. That's a copy. It's a copy of something. Those guys, that's why they put no names on it. This is why I'm telling you guys, 
until you found somebody who has a video, has a bunch of them is working, and more than a thousand, well, you can buy it. Until then, don't buy nothing. This is crap. It's not working.